In this example, we are going to solve system of equations, um, but we're going to be using a matrices. So it's going to be um, up to three equations, three variables, and we're going to use matrices for this. So we're going to give it a little bit of an example with um, two equations, two variables, show how to put it into the calculator, show how to get your solutions out of it. So if it was two variables, two equations, you could be using elimination, substitution, you could graph it, see where the lines cross, or you can use matrices. So first thing is we're going to put it into an augmented matrix. So an augmented matrix is we need to line up all your X's and Y's and everything. So I'm going to bump this over. And so if I do that, I'm looking at um, the top equation. I didn't do anything to it. And so, and then I'm going to have a negative 5X plus 2Y equals 10. Okay, so my augmented matrix is, I'm going to be taking basically just the coefficients from this, 3, 4, 7, negative 5, 2, 10. All right, and again, this represents our x column, so both of those 3 and the negative 5 refer to x's, these are y's, and then these are kind of what it equals. So that is our augmented matrix, so that's what we're going to be typing into the calculator. So to do this, there is a matrix feature, and that matrix feature is right there. And so we're going to go second matrix, and then we need to edit. So we need to enter in this matrix. Now this matrix, we need to know the size of it, the order to it. So we need to call it rows and columns. So it's two rows by three columns, so two rows by three. So I need to label it like that, two by three. And so you should see it match this. So we're going to go three, three, enter, and it just goes horizontally across it, four, enter, seven, enter. Then it goes down to the bottom, negative five, two, ten. Okay, so now we're going to exit out of that, go back into your matrices, matrix, and now that is matrix A. Okay, so now to do this, we are going to do what's called reduced row echelon form. So it basically will do the elimination for you, all right? And so here's the result that you get. We're going to get a, a new matrix out of it. We're going to try to make sense out of what this answer looks like. So it's going to do elimination for you. It'll do it perfectly. Um, so we are going to, um, before we take that matrix, we're going to do math. And we're going to scroll down. So there's a whole class on matrices, and those are all sorts of different things that you can do. But we are looking for row reduced echelon form, so B. So we could probably get that by going down through the list or probably going up, and then it'll kind of start at the bottom, work our way up. So row reduced echelon form, R-R-E-F, okay? Press enter, and now we want to do the row reduced echelon form of matrix A. So matrix A. So we're on A, press enter, close the parenthesis, let it do its thing. So let's make sense out of this. So this is, has done elimination, and it's given us this. Okay, now this is your X column, and this is your Y column. So don't forget that basically this X went away, so you just have X, and this is your equals negative 1, and this is your Y equals 2.5. So you literally, that's your answer. Negative 1, 2.5. So if you did elimination, substitution, you graphed it, that is the solution to it. All right, so let's go through the second one. This will go a little faster. So same thing. We are going to, let's clear that out. You can go to matrix. Now, if you want, you can edit over this one, um, or you can just create a new one. does not matter. But let's figure out how big this thing's going to be. So are all the X's, Y's, Z's all lined up? Looks great. I'm going to write it in the augmented matrix. So it's 1, negative 2, 3, negative 4, 3, 1, negative 1, 0, 2, 3, negative 5, 1. All right, so that is three rows by four columns. So if I go in here and I edit the same thing, so I'm going to write over that one. I'm going to go three rows by four columns. I'll enter in all my information. So 1, negative 2, 3, negative 4, 
and the next row, 3, 1, negative 1, 0, and 2, 3, negative 5, 1. Okay, so everything's filled in. I'll quit out of that. I'm going to go back into matrix, and math is where we're going to do the reduced row echelon form. So I'm going to try the bottom, and there is my reduced row echelon form, and of matrix A. Okay, so we get 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, 6, 0, 0, 1, 3. So this is your x, x equals negative 1, y equals 6, z equals 3. So our solution is negative 1, 6, 3. Okay, and that was our first um, video on this. We're going to do two more because you're going to get special cases out of this and we got to figure out how to deal with those. We'll do that in the next video.